Today we're opening a GX Special Edition against yu gi -Oh. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and I have not done a video with yu gi -Oh in quite a while, but he said, hey, we need to do a video. I have a 4K special coming up. I'm only 200 subs away and I'm gonna be giving away one of these GX special editions in that video. So let's do a quick video just to you know, let everybody know that it's coming up. So go check out yu gi -Oh's channel if you guys wanna subscribe to him and have a chance to win one of these GX special editions. Also at 4K, he's opening every GX set ever made. And so if you guys can get him to 4K, he can do that video, which will be really awesome. Then we're gonna do every set ever made. So you guys are gonna see a lot of really cool videos for specials coming up from yu gi -Oh and myself. So if you're excited about that, go check out his video. He is also opening one of these and a few other packs as well. This is not all we're gonna open. There's only three packs in here. He also sent us a giveaway for this video. So it will be the misprint elements over here, a wild heart sealed. We've got a cyber angel Benton, and then we've got two giveaway signed by yu gi -Oh hidden arsenal packs. So all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and go check out yu gi -Oh's video and let me know in the comments who won the battle. So the packs that are actually included in the battle are that special edition and three Judgment of the Light. He also said, uh, go ahead and throw in some other packs. So I had some Dimension Force packs laying around, so we're gonna be opening those up, but I think he opened some like, uh, maybe it was uh, the newest set, Pote or Pote. I can't remember which one he opened. Uh, Vivid Tail, I couldn't even remember. What's it called? Uh, what's the new set called that we opened like six cases, haven't pulled Scapegoat? Can't remember. Dimension something? No, that's not, this is what we're opening right now. I don't know, I can't remember. I'm losing it. Tactical Masters, I got it. I got it, guys, don't worry. I have it. I'm not losing it at all. I totally know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, we. I don't even remember. Therions, is that what's good in here? And I don't even think they're very good anymore. But they're still Starlights. We never pulled Ghost Bell. We never pulled Ghost Bell. So that would be a cool one. So maybe one day we'll actually pull that. Uh, or right now, that'd be down for that. That'd be cool. Uh, the Odd Eyes Wing Dragon, very, very cool. We're just gonna open a few Dimension Force. Let's get into one of the battle packs, Judgment of the Light. It's not technically a battle pack, but you know, the pack for the battle against yu gi -Oh. uh, Link will be in the description if you guys want to see his video. Make sure you guys go check it out if you want to. I just ruined it. That's a super rare, which is actually not guaranteed. Number 66, Master Key Beetle. Wait, but I did not ruin it. Don't worry. There could be a Chicolates in here. Let's see. Calibrator, Fire Fist Caribou, Umbral Horror, Star Seraph, Black and White Wave, the Buzingi Turtle, Xyz Re Reception, not Redemption, and Moon Dance Ritual. Okay, no, no Chicolates, no dancing yet. All right, back to the Daifo, the Dimension Force. Let's see what we can pull. Hopefully we can pull something good out of here, even though it's not technically in the battle, but I'd still be down to pull a Starlight. I would not be mad. Uh, we got the Crow Tengu. We got the Navy Dragon Mech, super rare. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Okay, Dimension Force. I believe we can pull something good. Let's go. Come on. We've got the Heroic Challenger. We got the Backup Team. Battle Guard Cadet. The Scare Claw Balloon. Oh, and a Libromancer Fire Secret Rare. This guy looks like he's in an anime. Um, that, very interesting. All right, cool. Secret Rare. We will take that. Libromancers. One more pack, and then we're going to go back to Judgment of the Light. These open so weird. I don't like how they open. They just go right down the middle. We got the Backup Team. We got the Symphonic Warrior DJ J. All right, DJJ. The uh, Jang. We have the Scareclaw Balloon. And then the Dinomorphia Frenzy. Very nice Ultra. I think Dinomorphias are actually doing okay. So that's probably actually a decent pull. Next up, Judgment of the Light. Jotal. The pack where resides the original Chicolates. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think I did four last time in Rooted. Let's do three. Intercept Tomato, a classic uh, Yu Gi Oh special. We've got the Xyz Reversal. The Swords Child Lemon Dragon. Bujingi Turtle. Spell Recycler. Cheap, cheap, cheap. He's very cheap. We have the Xyz Revenge Shuffle. The Bujingi Crane. And will this be it? Ghost Trip? No. Fishborg Archer. That would have been pretty nice. So far, nothing out of our Jodel packs. So we're still hoping to pull something amazing. I'm sure he'll pull Star Eater. That, that'll naturally happen. Divine Dragon. Titan Machia. The Scareclaw Alternative. Oh, and the Ruxin Special. Right into the Yakuza, Lord of the Eight Thunders. Very cool. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see that 150k special opening every single pack. That'll be pretty awesome. I think I have all the packs now. So we're just waiting on the 150k special. Symphonic Warrior, Divine Dragon, Titanomachia, the Therion Duke Yule, Libromancer Mystic Girl, Scareclaw Acro, the Pendulum Scale, and uh, the Scales, it reminds me of Moon Knight. All right, we need a little bit of luck here. We've gotten decent pulls out of the Daifo, but that is really it. But let's see if we can get another Secret Rare or a Starlight Rare, that'd be pretty cool. I have Ruxin Special every time. It's this quality of these cards. The new way they print makes it so hard. It's literally a Vendetta against Ruxin. It's a Ruxin Vendetta. They want me to Ruxin Special every single pack. I'm not gonna do it this time though, watch this. We're not, we're not gonna Ruxin Special, here we go. Parasomnia Pillow, Therion Ducule. War Rock Medium, okay. 
Devouring Sarcophagus. There we go. It's trying to make me Ruxin special, but it's not going to happen in Extra Pendulum. We didn't do it. See, we didn't pull anything good, but we also didn't Ruxin special, so I'm feeling good. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to do Judgment of the Light. Let's go. We have Therion Bull. Ichiroku's Ledger Book. Hero Challenger Knuckle Sword. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Dang it. Scarab Claw Splash. Okay, I failed yet again. Now it's on back to uh, Judgment of the Light. It's a little bit easier not to rux and special these. Let's see if we can actually pull something good like a Ghost Trip. Please, Star Eater. That would be really, really cool. Okay, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Caribou. Umber Horror Uniform. How is that a uniform? I don't know what's going on there. Vertical Landing. Bujangi Ward. The Spell Recycler. The Mecha Phantom Beast Halyard. Madolce! Chicolates, chicka chicolates, chicolates, chicka chicolates. Yes, we have pulled one. That is amazing. Archfiend, Palo Labyrinth. That was our last common of the entire thing, unless the next one's a common. Let's see. Oh, no, what? Another number 66 Master Beetle? That's really weird. Okay. Pull the same card twice. We'll take it, I guess. Our last common being a Chicolates, though, is very clutch. We will take that. All day, every day, all day, every day. We've got the Parasomnia Pillow. Predaplant, Triantis, the Devouring Sarcophagus, Vivid Tail, Shang-Chi, the Spiriato, Spiridio. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, let's keep going. We are going to hop into that GX Special Edition next. We got the Reverse Jar. We got the Scareclaw Alternative. We got the Devouring Sarcophagus. Oh, another Rux and Special. Libromancer Prevented. It is literally impossible not to Rux and Special these. Maybe I should just do a, a pack trick to avoid it, you know? Um, let's see. We got the Battle Guard Cadet, but I want to win. I want to do it without doing it. Balone. Parasomni Pill. Here's where it always happens. Did it, Predaplant, Triantis, and Heroic Envoy. Okay. We did it. We did not Ruxin Special. Pats on the back. Beautiful. It is now time for the main event, the GX Special Edition, Lost Millennium, Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, and then one of those Elemental Heroes that you guys can win in the giveaway, so make sure to know the giveaway. All right, we got him out. Here is our promo. Very, very awesome. We both got that, so it doesn't help us in the battle. Elemental Energy, Lost Millennium, and Cybernetic Revolution. We are starting... With the Lost Millennium. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be something epic and amazing? Give us an awesome ultimate rare. Or an Ancient Gear Golem. That would be pretty amazing as well. We're going to do three from the back. Just so we don't ruin it. We have the Monk Fighter. We could also get Elemental Hero common cards in here. King of the Skull Servants also in here. That's a cool one. Classic Archetype. Double Attack. We got the Doriato's Blessing. Elemental Hero. Avian. Very cool. Rock Bombardment. Pikachu Second Sight. And an Elemental Mistress Doriato. This is a retail ultimate that we could pull. That would be pretty nice. And then a Mist Polymerization. So, the Lost Millennium. Nothing there, but that's okay. We still have a couple packs. Let's do some more Dimension Force to see what we can pull. So far, just a bunch of Master Beetles for the battle. Uh, not, I mean, it's better than nothing. More Rock Medium. We got the Heroic Challenger Knuckle Sword. Backup team. I didn't Ruxin Special. And Beyond the Pendulum. Secret Rare. Let's go. We will take that. That is very nice out of Daifo. Very, very cool card. I don't know what it's worth anymore. Um, I don't know if it's that great, actually, but it's still a pretty cool card. It was one of the better cards when it first came out, so I'm hoping that it is pretty decent. Let's see what else we can get here. We have the Ikaro's Ledger Book, the Heroic Challenger, Warrock Medium, Therion Duke, Beformal Pal Gertrude, or Gintrude, not Gertrude. G Gintrude's more of a male name, I guess. Gertrude is definitely like an old lady, like 100%. No offense if your name's Gertrude out there. Let's go. Elemental Energy. Let's see what we can get. What can we get? Will it be the Shining Flare Wing? Man, there's so many good cards in this set. So let's see if we can pull one of them. <sighs> All right, Zero Knight of Dark World. The Familiar Possessed Asa. Pretty cool to see those. The Nano Breaker. The Forces of Darkness. Familiar Possessed Win. We have Oja Muscle. The Ojamas with Muscle. Very cool. Uh, Infernal Incinerator. It might be next. I'm not sure. Or it's the next one. I'm not sure. We have a Chithonian Soldier with a boss rush. Okay, all right. Nothing too crazy in that one. A couple packs to go. Let's get that something crazy out of that Cybernetic Revolution. Let's get like a Cyber In Dragon. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, no Rux and Special. Amphibious Buggeroth. Symphonic Warrior DJ. J. Very nice. The Land Hydra. And Branded Banishment. This is actually a really good card. It was like three or four bucks when it came out. I don't know if it still is, but that's still a good one. We'll take that. Okay, a couple more Daifo, then we're going to hop into that final pack, Cybernetic Revolution. Let's see what we can get. Scareclaw Alternative, Scareclaw Badone, Vivid Tail. Oh, Ruxin Special. Skeletal Dragon, Felgrand, Ultra Rare. We will take that. Another Ruxin Special. I had avoided him for so long. Daifo, give us a Starlight. Come on, man. Give us one of those Starlight Error Packs. Divine Dragon, Titan, Therion Stand Up. 
Amphibious Bugroth MK11, and the Endless Engine Arg... Arg Argyro, Argyro system. There we go. It's another ultra. We will take that. Very cool. Okay, final pack. Then CRV. I don't remember if I said that last time, but let's do one more. Because we were kind of on a hot streak with Daifo. We got the Mad Mauler. Cool. Whoa. That is that is scary. Okay. Real scary. General Pro. We got the Crow Tengu. Therion stand up. We got the Libromancer bonded super rare. All right, pretty cool. Now let's head into the finale, the final pack. Make sure to go check out Yugi Mo's video if you guys want to see his side of the opening. He also opened one of these. See if he pulled any better than us. Probably did, knowing uh, you know how we do in battles. Let's see. Can we pull Cyber and Dragon? That would be pretty awesome. One, two, three. We have the Dragon Mirror, the Tadpole. Pot of Generosity. Pretty cool. Not another pot card. Doitsu. A nice little airplane. Paper airplane he's hanging out on. The Fusion Recovery. Nice. Spiritual Windard Miyabi. All right. Also cool. And Poison Draw Frog. It might be next. Let's see. Will this be the final card? UFO Roid Fighter. So it was an ultra. We got prepared to strike back. Oh, we were so close to the Cyber End. I do love this card, especially in ulti. I actually own one of these. That's actually a really cool pull. I like the artwork of this avian combined with the UFO Roid. I hate UFO Roid, but I do enjoy the UFO Roid fighter. I think it's really cool. Uh, that's a pretty good way to end it. We will take that. A really awesome ultra rare. So once again, make sure to go check out Yugimo's video if you guys want to get him to 4K. Check out his awesome all GX pack video and the battle video. And of course, if you guys enjoyed my video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomefo Show, and then as high show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.